It's interesting that many people in our culture, probably more than any place else in the world, suffer from a heart condition. You know, we say, and that's, and I think that's an interesting question for us as metaphysicians to ask from a spiritual point of view. What is the condition of my heart today? So your heart is like any other muscle in your body. It has a natural rest phase built in. It works and it rests, and it works and it rests. So um, some native cultures believe that the heart is the bridge between the father sky and the mother earth. And so for these uh, indigenous traditions, the heart is described as being full, open, clear, and strong. That's a really healthy heart, a heart that's full, open, clear, and strong. So if we're not full-hearted, we approach people in life in a half-hearted way. So that's not hard to imagine. We have all perhaps done that at some time. You know, well, I should do this, but oh, I just don't want to. When we're having that kind of a little conversation in our head, it's half-hearted. Well, I've got to go meet somebody, but I don't really want to do that. Half-hearted. Um, if we're not open-hearted, that necessarily means that we are closed-hearted. And it shows up often as being defensive. So I don't know if this has ever been you. I've certainly been down this road. It shows up as encountering our own resistance to things, protecting ourselves from the possibility of being hurt. So not open-hearted is closed-hearted, and we can see how that could really, really limit our experience of life. Now, not clear-hearted would mean that we have doubt, that we have just really moved in with our doubt, that we need to wait for clarity, you know, we're, we're not able to take action right now because we're not clear-hearted. And the last one about being strong-hearted is where we lack the courage to be authentic or say what's really, really true for us. Strong-hearted is the courage to be all of who we are in this life. So if we're depleted in the energy of the heart, I think we, we're prey to lots of things that are, that are not so good.